Widge Sin On's Brain, Van Barmoder Taught Alzheimer, by Dick Swab is a thought-provoking and comprehensive exploration of the human brain and its intricate role in shaping our lives from the moment of conception to the ravages of Alzheimer's disease. Swab's book is a masterful blend of scientific rigor and accessible prose, offering readers a captivating journey through the mysteries of the brain. At its core, which Zin On's brain seeks to unravel the profound connection between our brains and our identity, demonstrating how our neural architecture influences our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. Swab, a prominent Dutch neurobiologist, brings a wealth of expertise to the table as he delves into the brain's development, its impact on our lives, and the ways in which it can betray us in old age. One of the book's central themes is the notion that we are, in essence, our brains. Swab contends that our identities, consciousness, and even our moral and ethical choices are fundamentally tied to the intricate workings of our neural networks. He supports this claim with a wealth of scientific evidence, including compelling studies on brain development in the womb, the influence of hormones on our behavior, and the neural underpinnings of sexuality. Swab's exploration of brain development, starting from the embryonic stage, is particularly enlightening. He vividly describes how the brain evolves and adapts, illustrating how the experiences and environment a fetus encounters in the womb can have profound and lasting effects on its future development. Through engaging anecdotes and scientific research, Swab presents a compelling case for the pivotal role that prenatal factors play in shaping an individual's neurological makeup. The book also delves into the influence of hormones on human behavior and identity. Swab skillfully navigates the complexities of hormone-driven changes in the brain, shedding light on the development of gender identity and sexual orientation. His discussion on the interplay between biology and identity challenges conventional notions of self-determination, inviting readers to consider the intricate web of factors that contribute to our sense of self. As Swab moves into the realm of neurological disorders, he paints a sobering picture of the devastating impact of conditions like Alzheimer's disease. He underscores the fragility of the brain and the profound implications of its deterioration on a person's sense of self and their relationships with others. Swab's compassionate exploration of Alzheimer's serves as a poignant reminder of the book's central thesis, that we are, indeed, our brains, and the heartbreaking consequences of its decline. Throughout, which Zin On's brain, Swab's writing strikes a delicate balance between scientific rigor and accessibility. He presents complex neurological concepts in a clear and engaging manner, making the book accessible to both experts and lay readers. The inclusion of real-life case studies and personal anecdotes adds a human touch to the scientific narrative, allowing readers to connect with the material on a deeper level. One of the book's strengths lies in its ability to provoke introspection and self-reflection. Swab's exploration of the brain's role in shaping our beliefs, values, and moral compass challenges readers to reconsider their understanding of free will and personal responsibility. By demonstrating how the brain can be influenced by genetics, environment, and biology, he compels us to question the true nature of individual agency. In conclusion, which Zin On's Brain, Van Barmoder Taught Alzheimer, by Dick Swab is a captivating journey through the labyrinth and world of the human brain. Swab's compelling argument that we are our brains is supported by a wealth of scientific evidence and presented in a highly accessible and engaging manner. The book serves as an enlightening and thought-provoking exploration of the profound impact our brains have on our identity, behavior, and sense of self, leaving readers with a deeper understanding of the intricate relationship between our neural architecture and our lives.